G'day guys, BG here from Drifter. Quick walkthrough video on this bus we've just finished fitting out. So yeah, we're doing more and more bus um, conversions here at Drifter. So yeah, every time we get one in, it's nice to do a little video just to show you what we've done. Buses are all very different, you know, lots of space and all the buses have different door configurations and things like that. So um, it's always good to have a bit of a walk around one and just see what we've done. So I'll have a quick look inside. So yeah, the first thing you'll notice with this one is um, these are the um, original manhole roof panels off the roof here. So what we did for this customer was we popped the panels off and we made these alumin aluminium sort of shrouds which are bolted to the outside of the roof. And we fitted two of our um, reversible air fans in the roof. So, so there's one here and there's one close to the back as well. So these are the Max Air roof fans which we're currently using, which are a very good product. Um, so yeah. You know, big space and that airflow is really critical. So having the two hatches there was really beneficial because it made it really easy, easy for us to do the roof vents. So um, whilst we're up here, we've got, um, we did a bit of 12 volt work. So we've got a couple of lights. So the, the customer is um, gonna build a table in here. So these lights are, um, yeah, this will be above like a table area. So this project, like for, for this particular customer, this is a work in progress. So we've just done some work and then he's got, he's got a fair bit to finish off after himself because um, that's just how we wanted to do it. So that's, that's really fine by us as well. So, all right, so this unit here um, on the passenger side, so this is a, a big internal kitchen. So what we've done here is we've used like a um, hardwood, solid hardwood um, top on this kitchen. So really nice, um, yeah. Again, the customer provided this timber himself. I think he just got it from Bunnings. I think it's just like one of their timber slabs, but really nice finish. And we, we do this quite a lot. It's not demoed a lot on our, on our website or anything, but, um, but yeah, we do use these kind of, kind of timber tops quite a lot on, on um, van and bus fit outs and things like that. So just gives it a different finish, which is really nice. Um, and then, yeah, like in the top of this one, here we have built in the double Smev gas burner. Um, so we've basically just supplied that burner and sat it in there. We haven't done any plumbing because we're not licensed for any gas plumbing and stuff like that. But again, he's gonna get that finished off himself once he um, takes, takes the, the bus back. Um, over this side here too, this is just the smell sink. So smell sink with this little folding tap and it's got a, a mixer, mixer on here so you can do hot and cold water. So yeah, here we have uh, one of our built-in tables. So this table stores in here vertically and um, it just slides out and then it can be used outside as a standalone table. So um, it just it just sneaks in here. I mean, it's a bit of a snug fit, but um, it just fits in there really nice. Um, and it's just a good way of using this bit of space here. So as we move forward, um, we've got the Bushman bar fridge built in here. So this one's the 130 litre. So all the Bushman fridges come with a little freezer compartment. I often get asked about the freezer. And then they've got all the adjustable shelves and things, just like your, your normal bar fridge at home. Okay, here we have a series of drawers. Okay, so um, what we often do when we've got stacked drawers like this is we start off with a shallower drawer and, um, and as we go down, we increase the height. So we've got bigger drawers, a bit of, a bit of variation in the storage is always really useful. Um, these bottom two here, these are actually built in, or this side anyway, built in around the wheel arch and things. So we just did these as drop down doors, just to, um, yeah, so we can still use that space really well and efficiently. Um, as we move forward here, there's just a big cupboard. Again, we've got the wheel arch cutting into the bottom of this space. And this here is an adjustable shelf, which can sit in wherever the customer likes and they can just screw it in. Um, here's the pipes again. He's gonna finish the plumbing. So he's gonna put an underbody water tank under the bus. And, um, and then, yeah, he's just gonna plumb it all into there himself. So we've actually provided um, a water pump, which is bolted underneath the bus, so it's all ready for him. So he's just got to finish plumbing when he um, when he gets around to it himself. Okay, so um, just moving forward here. So we've got these two units. So they're almost like a mirror image of each other. And again, just a bank of drawers. So what we did is we, we, we put this lip around the top. So, you know, pretty simple, but it means you can just sit things in there. And if you, if you, if you are traveling, things, they're sort of retained on the top. They're not just gonna slide off. So. Just a, just a little idea. Um, then yeah, we've got these drawers here. So these are really nice long drawers. All right, so this sort of bedside drawers there, which is um, really nice. And then we've got the, the same on this side here. All right. So yeah, so obviously this big, large area at the back will be 
where the mattress goes and this is the bed area. So as you often find with buses, there's a lot of space below the bed area, but it can be a bit tricky to access. So what we've done here is we've built in a couple of drawers here that open forward. All right, so, um, so yeah, as much as we can, we give easy access to as much of that space. Another one here. Okay, so there's another drawer in there. Okay, and then, um, and then yeah, and this is the bed area here. So basically what we've done is um, we just built in to access this space, we've built up these lift off, um, these hinged lids. So you can see there's, there's heaps of storage space in there. Um, really is a big area. So um, yeah, I mean, that's about as easy as you can make the access to that space, but that's pretty good. And then it's a similar sort of thing on this side. And then in here we've fitted the 12 volt system. So we've got an Enerdrive 200 amp hour lithium battery. And then we've got the Red Arc DC to DC charger and all the fuses and wiring and bits and pieces under there. So um, yeah, so that's all nicely stored. Plus obviously there's a lot of room there for other things as well. So um, you probably gonna notice too, like on this driver's side here, there's a fair bit of empty space. Um, again, you know, working project this bus. So this customer, he's got himself a shower cubicle lined up. Um, shower toilet cubicle, I think, which is gonna fit in here. So we've just basically left that space. And then, yeah, once he picks the bus up from us, he'll, he'll take it and he'll finish off that end of the project. So showers are something I've been looking at getting into. I've got, um, I found a really nice um, supply of some nice shower units um, with lots of different options. So I'm in the early stages of that. We haven't done one yet, but um, I'm sure we will at some point. So, all right, no worries. Yeah, so a bit of a basic one. Um, yeah, with regards to what we've done in this van, uh, this bus, sorry. So, um, but yeah, you know, um, love to hear what you think, any comments and things, and you can flip me an email at any time. It's mark at drifter.com.au. Thank you.